This is the IVA 5 and it's my most requested video. I hope we do it justice. Hi, I'm Gabriel. My family have been manufacturing, designing and selling stoves over three generations. This channel is devoted to all things stove and fire related. We make reviews, information videos and how-tos. Check them out and leave me a comment. And if you'd like to see more, please like and subscribe. They make this IVA 5 and then a larger IVA 8. The IVA 5 comes in this standard version, a taller leg version if you want to have it freestanding on a 12mm hearth, and a log store version. The IVA 8 also comes with a standard version and a log store version. It is a fully focused wood burner, which means it has no grate, no ash pan. This makes it more economical, controllable, and efficient with wood. But if you do want to burn coal, they do do an optional kit. The stove is from a Dutch company and made from steel and cast iron. It also has a removable handle. This can be fixed in place like this or left as removable, which I prefer. You can also get a direct air kit. So far, the only questionable thing is its name. The stove comes with a big instruction book. I thought this was quite good. Obviously you get a glove, you get spray, which is so useful. You can imagine when you're fitting a stove, lifting it into place, any marks or anything when you're using it, got some spray to just touch it up. Um, you've got normal bolts and bits and pieces, they've got stuff for cleaning the glass, and this rather interesting um, ash scooper, which, uh, I've not used yet, um, but yeah, <laughs> never seen anything quite like it. Okay, let's light it. Small logs on the base as always. Just, the important thing is just getting airflow between each piece. So it's not that you have to set it up in a particular way, you just need gaps. Then a fire lighter. Tend to leave the door just ajar, the vent fully open, ready for when we close it. Getting it up to temperature in quarter of an hour is no problem at all, and just look at that control. It can flame out a little when you first open the door, but that is part of having a really, really efficient stove. Well, it's 82% efficient, DEFRA approved, eco-design ready, and the glass is not only clean, but the flames behind it are incredible. Well, as you saw, it comes with a glove and that interesting ash scooper. Also comes with a removable handle, which I really like, because obviously it doesn't get hot. And also, if you've got kids, they can't get into the thing and cover everything in soot. The action's really nice, as you'd expect as well. It just shuts nicely and sort of feels nice. Um, but the, the main thing that's really sort of linear and smooth is, is the control. So down the bottom here, obviously you go all the way to the right for full power. Um, but because it's got a really long move, when you go all the way down to shutdown, it's, you've moved it sort of nearly half a foot or probably more. So you've got you can really sort of perfect where you want it. Oh, I should also say, it also will run overnight. You can actually get about 12 hours out of the thing, so it's very, very capable for long burns. We test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature and then burning a single net to see how long it will maintain it. We did it a few times with this stove and it achieved between 10 and 14 hours. And given that it's got a maximum output of seven kilowatts, it's very, very economic. And obviously, as we mentioned, when you shut it down, it will run for 12 hours on a single load. Dick Gertz. It's a questionable name. And the ash removal thing is a little bit interesting. And getting the bricks out, as you'll see in the short video that we produce, is not totally simple. But if you can get past those things, it makes up for it.
It has a few quirks, but don't we all? In terms of its performance as a stove, it's exceptional. I'm genuinely looking at it thinking, what do I pick on in terms of the way it burns and how it controls? 